Michael Bettine here for another episode of It's Cup of Time. And today we're going to talk about expanding your gong bowl bell setup with some different instruments, namely bell cymbals, china cymbals. So let's first look at Chinese cymbals. As the name implies, the original ones were from China and now there's a lot of companies that make a Chinese style symbol. And the thing that distinguishes a Chinese symbol, it's got this upturned edge, this flange. And what that does, it gives it more of a trashier, white noise sort of sound, as opposed to a standard Western symbol, which is more this way and gives you that nice bright crash. This will give you more of a trashy sound. Now the other thing on the authentic Chinese symbols, if you'll notice the cup here, it's very squared off. That is because it's actually the handle. Traditionally, these are designed as hand symbols. And I use these two a lot in improvised music. Now these smaller symbols, I believe this is a 12 and a 16 inch, tend to be very tight and have a very bright sound. So these two I generally, like I said, use for improvised and solo work. And with, this, with these I will often play them on my large horizontal bass drum and use that as a resonator for them. But this is the smaller one. This is the larger 16 inch one. You can see it's a very trashy sort of sound. Now bigger sizes 18, 20, 22. I've seen these up to a 27 inch, which is almost as big as the gong here. This is a 28. Bigger ones will be lower in pitch and the metal tends to be looser. So they don't have that real brash, sort of brittle sound like this. The nice thing about this type of symbol is it's easy to carry around. because of that bell as a handle. So let's look at some modern ones. I have a couple of modern ones, but they're actually real old modern ones. So this is a Peisty 2000 Mellow China. This is uh, from 1987. It has a squared off cup, but it doesn't have the kind of cup you can actually hold on to. But you can see it's got a wide flange it's a fairly flat. If you look at the profile of these symbols, they're very flat. This is an 18 inch. And then perhaps uh, my favorite symbol of all the symbols I own is this. This is a Peisty Formula 602 China type. This is from, I believe, 1983. Or is it 93? 83. I've had this forever. And this, again, you can see that very flat profile. A turned up edge and this has a traditional western style bell so let's demonstrate both of those here now if you play them with, with sticks you're going to get a lot of brash high end and brightness i tend to play them more with mallets <laughs> sound character to the gongs so they blend well with the gongs and if you want that sort of sound character but you want it brighter something more in the upper end of things a china symbol is works out well because you can get the deeper 
tones here. And then the brighter, a little brighter, a little more edge, a little brash sound from the China cymbals. But they can blend in really well. And, you know, just add another dimension. You will need to have either a cymbal stand, this one's on a separate cymbal stand, or you might be able to mount it to a rack, like I have this one mounted on the rack in front of me, you know, depending on, on your setup. But you can get them anywhere, generally from like 12 inches up to, like I said, 27 inches in the actual Chinese ones. Western ones tend to come from maybe 12 inches up to 24 inches. 18 and 20 inch are the most common sizes. And I have, I have a whole bag of other types of Chinese symbols, Paiste ones. I have some other of the real Chinese style Wuhan ones. And, and like I said, I tend to use the Chinese ones more for solo work and improvised work with other musicians because it gives me that kind of a bright brash sound. These I would use on the drum set or also use them in solo work, but they tend to fit in well with the gongs. So let's look at another type of symbol, a completely opposite type of symbol in a way. These tend to be, you know, larger, they're fairly thin, so you can get that that nice sort of sound. Let's look at some bell cymbals. Now these are real thick, and you can see this is this has got a large cup or bell on it and a very small edge. These these two are the Paiste Pure Bells. These are made of aluminum. They're very lightweight, and they tend to have um, a very pure sound. So hence the name Pure Bell. Aluminum doesn't have a lot of overtones. It's nice just to have a just you know a real pure bell-like tone. So I like to use those just for that nice bell character. This other one here, this is a custom-made symbol. This is a heavy bell symbol that's made out of a broken symbol. This is a Paiste 602. This was a heavy ride symbol, I believe, that had cracked. And somebody had cut it out the middle and cut out a ring for me. And, you know, just gave me all the pieces. But this is kind of a heavy bell symbol, and I really like it. And if you can hear, this is made out of B20 bronze. You can hear all those overtones versus the pure bell with the aluminum. It's more just the fundamental. There's really not overtones in there. But here, a whole array of sounds. So these will tend to ring for a long time because they're thicker and heavier. China symbols tend to dissipate. And this one's still ringing, even though I struck it before the China symbol. So, larger symbol too, because of the diameter, it's going to ring longer. But again, the smaller sort of China symbols are very brash and quick. So these are nice to add. Uh, again, you would need some sort of symbol stand for the bell symbols or symbol holder. I have some of these Gibraltar holders that I put Paiste uh, symbol holders on. And I can mount it to my racks. I usually have a bell over here on my other rack that I use out in the field with a, a very heavy bell chime symbol on it. So there we go. Bell symbols, China symbols.
let's play a little something with the gongs and show you how to integrate these other symbols into it.
So there you go. Chinese style symbols, either actual Chinese symbols or Western versions of them, and bell symbols, aluminum, bronze, thicker, heavier, ringing out a bit more. Different sounds you can add to your setup. They blend well with the gongs, they'll blend well with the singing bowls, crystal bowls, whatever you have. And it's really up to your imagination, as always. So thanks for tuning in to this episode of It's Cup of Time, and we will see you next week. Thanks.